Before this video starts, just want to let you guys know that this video is actually brought to you by my friends over at FCP Euro. Now, anything you buy from FCP Euro's website, including this big brake kit, has a lifetime warranty on it. That means if you have an issue with it, you send it back, and they will help you out with a replacement for that part. If you're interested in the Q5 big brake kit that we're about to stall at any point in this video, the link will be at the top of the description. Make sure to tell them I sent you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Today, we are going to be installing my Q5 big brake kit, quote unquote. It's an OEM Brembo four piston caliper upgraded from the single piston caliper. If you'd like to see the unboxing video for those, it's linked up here. But my friends over at FCP Euro hooked us up with this and they got Talon a gift. So, Aww. what? Talon, this is for you. No, this is cool. I remember you mentioned like a t-shirt. What was it? How do you open this? That way. Yo, so it's got a BMW on it, which is perfect for Balan. Perfect for Balan. <laughs> BMW on it, which is perfect for Palin because he drives one and I don't. Um, but now you can be part of the FCP Euro family. Everything in here off. We got the wheel turned to the side so we can access the caliper bolts on the back. Palin's loosened the brake line up right there. 11 millimeter flannel wrench. Very important. Oh, okay. We got stats. But now we're going to take the brake line off. Then we're going to take this caliper off, then we're going to take this rotor off, and then we're going to do it backwards. Oh. <laughs> I'm shooting brake fluid out at my camera. Great. What do you mean? Uh, every time I tap this guy, yeah. it shoots brake fluid out. <laughs> I'm getting it all over the power washer now. That's oh! Oh! Oh, we're making a mess. Okay, caliper off. Uh, you got it? You got it? Yeah, I think so. All right. All right. We just hit it a lot with a hammer and it came off. <laughs> the other side came off real easy. We didn't film that one. Yeah. Of course, we had to film the difficult one. I mean, like, you of course don't want to do this if, if you don't have to, but we pretty much just hammered along the edges. You don't want to hammer along the face or else you warp it if you need to use these rotors. But or reuse them. They're good. These are heavy. New rotor. Oh, this looks really nice. Very pretty. So, right behind you. kind of a weird system here where uh, these bars are going to go across. There's another one, and that holds this unit in, like that, which holds the brake pads in. Oh, dude, you were on the money. And now you can see that the pads are held in by our friends, the metal pieces. Those look nice. And the kit comes from FCP Euro with brand new bolts here, which is really nice. It also comes with a brand new sensor, which you need because they're new pads anyway, but brand new sensor. When we took these wheels off, may have been the last time this car ever runs these wheels. If it doesn't clear these brakes, then I'm just putting the S5 wheels on. Oh, Yo, oh my God. Oh yeah. We're all, all kinds of fit in here, dude. We're good. Nice. That's exciting. That's like really I'm really happy close. about that. Uh -huh. That's like so freaking close. So we have the car back on the ground. The brakes are on. The wheels are on. I'd love to see this caliper painted, which is what we're going to do next, so that you can actually see it behind the wheel, because right now it kind of blends in back there. So we're at Palance now. I took a brief little drive here, and you can see that I've already worn through the coating on the rotors. What I still need to do is bed the brakes. That'll be done after we paint. Now we're in Powan's garage, brakes are looking good. Powan's got these all cleaned up and we're starting the masking process. Meanwhile, I'm sanding these down to make sure that they're flat and even and then we'll also start the masking process back here. And always remember to wear a mask if you're working inside. All right. We have the last coat on. We're like three or four coats deep here. I am a happy camper. Now we're gonna take the masking off. There nice. we go. Looks clean, dude. Nice, dude. That looks really nice. All right, so we have the wheels off now. We have these vinyl things that say ignition tube on it. Unfortunately, you can't read it because we're gonna have to weed it once it's on the caliper. But we're gonna put those right there. And they're actually the same color vinyl as the car. Yeah. Just 
dude. <laughs> So I've been driving on these brakes for about a month now and I have to say I absolutely love them. I want to do a little bit more of a long term test on these plus we had to unveil the car to make sure that I really did enjoy them and I'm, I'm just really happy with how they came out. They really do have much more presence behind the wheel. I think that's because they're one color instead of having a black S4 logo in the middle of them but really happy with how they look. So that satisfies my aesthetic requirement, but what about the actual brake feel? The brakes have a much stronger bite to them than the S4 brakes did. When you get into the brake pedal, it's still super linear, but at the beginning of the pedal, I feel like these brakes have much more to give than what the S4 brakes did. I like having a lot of bite at the top of the pedal because it's really confidence inspiring. You're coming into a corner and you don't get into the brakes that hard and the car really wants to slow down for you. Now, that's not to say that the pedal isn't linear um, because it definitely still is and you could definitely use a little bit of brakes, you know, creeping in traffic or, or coming to a stop and uh, stop and go traffic isn't like on off like it is with some of the huge brake options. But uh, definitely has a lot more bite at the beginning and uh, overall I feel much more confident in these brakes than I did in my S4 brakes. I don't know, the pedal, the way the pedal feels just gives you uh, a little bit more uh, kind of control, I guess. So I would highly recommend this big brake quote unquote upgrade. Uh, again, it's an OEM four piston Brembo from the Q5. So when you pull up next to Q5s, you can be like, ha ha, I have the same brakes as you and my car weighs less. And as you guys know, I'm sure, uh, everything from FCP Euro has a lifetime warranty. So if a caliper ever sees this, if you ever have any issues, you can send it back and they will replace it for life. Huge thanks to my friends over at FCP Euro for hooking me up with this brake kit. If you want to get one for yourself, the link will be at the top of the description. As always, thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity and I will catch you guys in the next video. I'd just like to say for all those people who told me to do red brakes last July when I painted them yellow, you are so unbelievably wrong. This color scheme does not work as well as the yellow brakes did. Good thing we are not running this color wheels or this color paint this year.